You said you would own that Bugatti in the end it with the NSX. Break and drift with the NSX, I will drift. Hmm. Yeah, drifting is not necessarily the, the fastest way. I it, don't think so either. It looks cool. Uh, in fact, I think you lose time when you drift. Yeah. Transmission. No, I'm manual. I go with the automatic because it's one less thing that I have to worry about. Now, true, I know it affects your um your exit speed. Uh, I like going manual because I like being able to hold hold my shifts. Yeah, I, I like I like being able to hold my speed with my my pedal. You yeah. Know pedal down to the floor and that, that way I regulate it that way because some of the, depending on the track sometimes you're you're redlining at a track <clears throat> or in a, in a certain corner and it's a short mm -hmm. corner so it, it's okay if you redline it there and just kind of let let it bounce off the the limiter because yep. because by the time by the time you upshift you got a downshift and it's not worth the extra seconds off your time Right. This is going. You li you like the car? The cycling. Uh, we got a guy here. Uh, the the cycling. Uh, Judoka. Uh, uh, Judoka. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to butcher your name. He says manual, manual gives you more control in the turns, which I have found that out. But, you know, just like you said, J-Dub, um, you know, there's just some corners where it's not, you know, it's not it working. doesn't work downshifting, so you carry your speed through the corners. Yeah. Now, one thing, when I'm racing with the Dodge Viper, the gearing is not tall, so you shift at like five, 6,000 RPM. Whereas most other cars, you wind out around seven to 8,000 RPM. So I always got to shift extra early in that car. And every time I race that car, man, it's, it's, uh, I got to kind of remember that. So that car got kind of a small power band then. It's a lot of power, but it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's all low end, bottom and middle end. It, it, it doesn't oh. have a, a, a big top end. So like the NSX and stuff like that, like those cars, you have to wind them all the way up to 8,000 RPM to get some good power out of them. But the mm -hmm. Viper, you know, it's a bigger engine, obviously, so that all the torque is down low. Yeah, just like when I used to ride crotch rockets. Uh, see, I used to have a Suzuki uh, GSX-R 750, which, yeah. you know, they call a Jixxer 750, yeah. and it had a high power band. So I had to, you know, and it yeah, had you have the to wind that thing out to 13,000 RPM yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, they had them high power RPMs like that, like 13, 14, and I had to get it up to like no less than 9,000 RPM for the power band to kick in yep. for it to feel like that turbo kicked in. Yep. And then the bike would be screaming so damn loud because it had a Hindle drag pipe on it. Uh -huh. But um, but I used to beat CBRs and shit on that bike. Um, that 750, I used to I used to beat CBR 900s on that bike. Yeah, because it was light. I mean, that was like the middle class champion for shit. It probably still is. Um. Yeah, I have a couple of bikes. I have a Honda CBR1000RR, and mm -hmm. I have the Ducati 1098S. That's kind of like my baby. Oh, shit. And I have the 1299 Panigale. So, but my, yeah, my, very, my, my very first bike was a Honda, uh, uh, it was a CBR600F, F3. Okay. Uh, my very first bike was a Katana 600. Oh, okay, okay. But I, I used to like the Katanas. Yeah, I, I didn't like I didn't like their looks. Well, like see, the back end. It depends on what year. Katana was the big shit. I think, but it depends. The I later think my years. bike was um. I think my bike was a a, a nineteen 
89 or okay, 1990 yeah, yeah. Katana yeah. 600. And, the, and see, the thing about it is, um, one of my boys, he had a 929 when those things was brand new. Yeah. Oh, that was killing. And my brother, that was killing shit. And, yeah. And my brother had a uh, 1000, he had a 750 Interceptor. Mm-hmm. And it was an older bike, but it was a bike that his his girlfriend had bought for him. Yeah. And so, um, and they was having so much fun, man. They was picking up girls left and right, all kinds of shit on them bikes, man. And I wanted to jump in on that fun. Mm -hmm. And so my friend that had the 929, you know, uh, rest in peace. He was killed a few years, about 10 years ago on a bike. Sorry to hear that. Um, he said, look, a dude I know got a bike, a Katana, um, a Katana 600. He mm -hmm. said it's a starter bike and it'd be a great bike for you to start with, you know? And I paid a thousand bucks for it. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Boy, you got that GTR. That's gonna be a problem on them straightaways. Yeah, but it's still kinda... If you, if you end up kicking my ass big time, then I'm gonna have to switch up and go get that NSX back and deal with the understeer. Oh, look at that, right off the gate. That's what's up. You got them corners, though. I gotta shave off. Mm -hmm. Look, you, you coming up? What are you doing? Are you trying to give me a break or something? You good? Now let me ask you this: Do you ever modify any of your cars? No. Nope. Okay, that's good. That's you good. You're talking about buying parts for them, or just like tweaking the transmission and that yeah. kind of stuff? Yeah, tweaking the stuff. Nah, I mean, um, like I used to do that kind of stuff on Forza 2, but I had kind of been away from these racing games for a while. So I'm yeah. like, I guess I'm trying to master, you know, driving a car before. Oh, shit. It's okay, I'm just trailing behind you. I'm following behind you. I'm, 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 I'm streaming it too, so all, all my okay. dude, all the people that's watching me will be able to. Right, just right up on the side of you. Yeah, so I got some racing tutorials and stuff on uh, on my channel. Uh huh. Like when I first got GT Sport, man, I was trying to, I guess, show some people how to race and stuff like that and I was letting them know man a wheel is a wheel is your your best friend in in a, in a game yeah. like this. I'm up here messing up. After this um after we put around this lap let's switch over to the um the, the group three cars. Okay that's fine. Because in that way I think you know I can pick the car that I want. Yeah. And we can both you know we can go all out because right now this car just this car just cannot mess with that GT Sport on the um that GTR, it just cannot mess with that car on the spray straightaways. So if you get through those corners clean, I'm good as dead. Yeah. Then you need to uh, mod your car. My Corvette does 210, not in red line in this game. Nah, see, you know. I'm... Listen, here's the thing, right? You, if you mod your car like that, you can't really. Okay, so we'll change cars. You're gonna take it out of. You probably gonna. You probably take it out of class. Can you buy parts for your car in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll take it out of class, but then you'll be stuck trying to figure out what range everybody else is in. And I like being on the even. So I like the way they give you the cars in the game stock is the way that those cars were meant to handle. So when you modify mm -hmm. them, you either throw it at a different level, or you have different different competing horsepowers and weight ratios and stuff like that and it doesn't make it as fair now if i'm a tech head i know how to you know change my uh you know transmission parts the gearing and stuff like that it's more of a cheating factor for a person that just come in with a stock car so it depends on who i'm racing this is why I like when you're racing online on the online lobby um or you're doing your trials and stuff like that they give you a set car and a set weight that way everybody's on the same footing yeah, with those BOP settings? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, you said you are going to get your GT3 car. Yeah. All right. So I use the, um, you know, because I signed the the, uh, the manufacturer's contract with Honda. 
so they provide the NSXs for me. You know, a group three and a group uh, group four NSX. Oh, that's what's up. I don't care for the group four NSX because it's got a lot of understeer. Mm -hmm. But the group three uh, NSX, I can handle that one pretty good. Yeah. And I think it's got a fair amount of power to keep up with the other cars on the straightaway. Yeah. But that that race we just had right there, I mean, I mean uh, we, was, we was just messing around. We went, yeah, we went. Yeah. Racing. Yeah, I just wanted us to be on the same screen at the same time. Hey, shout out to everybody who's watching my stream and your stream. Thanks for stopping by. You know, me and Lincoln Clay doing our deal. Finally being able to hook up and connect. That's what's up. Same same deal. You know, everybody in my stream, everybody in J-Dub's stream. Shout out to y'all. Thanks for tuning in and watching. You know, um... In addition to getting ready to race him, I'm picking up a few tips and uh Thanks guys you know, for at watching. the same time. Let me jump on this track, see what I can do here. Mm -hmm. That you in that Porsche? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, man. As much as I, I, I like, you know, I tried the first person, the bumper view. Mm -hmm. I still gotta stick with my in car in car view, man. It's just. I don't have anything against that, you know. Um, I, I don't see. Here's the thing. I've never tested my my lap times to see which one I'm quicker in. Mhm. Mm but you know the you know the GT3 cars. They give you more grip, speed, and everything else. So. Yeah, no doubt. And That's why I know, like them. I think you can. You know, these these cars are a little more forgiving. Yeah. But it, 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 when it comes to like real life racing, GT4, caught the, the handle and the feel would be more in line of what you would feel. And I, I guess because the racing I do, it's all about immersion. Mm -hmm. it, it's all about immersing yourself and making making yourself feel like you, you're physically there. Yeah. Oh, this is going to leave a stain here. Trying to save that time and caught that wall. Yeah, I mean it's tricky through that. It's like straight the needle, bro. Yeah. I mean I normally take that right in my sleep, yeah. but I was like too busy trying to stay on your ass through it. I hear you. So do you race on the number green? Any? Uh not really. Because that's that is a really tough track because yes, yes. Um, it's not it's not that I can't handle the track, but the track is really narrow, and then yeah, I think right. because of the level that I race at, uh -huh. I think I'm down there with some amateurs, and these are people that's dive bombing, you know that yeah. they don't know when to break. Yeah, you're they right. just a curve come up and they just shoot straight off the track, and if I happen to be in front of them, I get taken out with them. Yeah. And then I don't. And then to make it even, you know, um, and then you run into them couple of jerks, like you said, those trolls that'll try to take you out, try to take you out if you're in their way. Yeah. I, I'll tell you why I like the Nurburgring, Green, man. That's my favorite in track in the world. I like it because it tests every single facet of your driving skill, the car, everything. It has a ton of corners, ton of top speed. It has, you know, great braking points. Like, it, it's just mm -hmm. so fucking hard. But once you know the track, like, I know that track like the back of my hand. Because I've raced it so much on just so many different racing sims and different things. Mm -hmm. You know, shit, even back in the day, you know, Need for Speed and, and Gran, Tur you know, Gran Turismo and stuff like that. So Need for Speed on the PC back in the day, um, you know, there was a bunch of mods. So they used to have, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, modded tracks and stuff. I, I did like um I definitely like trying uh Nerver Green in in a VR in that Formula One car. Oh man, yeah. Even if it was just a time trial, it was still fun. Yeah. Hey, what part of the country are you in? You on the East Coast, West Coast? Uh, East Coast. I'm in Michigan. 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about you? I'm in Texas. Uh, what part? Uh, Houston. Oh, okay. That's yep. a pretty big city, ain't it? Yeah, it is, man. But what's the population there? Shit, like six million? Damn! Yeah. Well, I live in uh, I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. Um. Grand Rapids. We're the second biggest city in Michigan, behind Detroit. Mm -hmm. But uh, how but far hell is no? I think how far is that at, like at from, the most, from Flint? What's that? How far is that from Flint? Uh, how far I say Flint's probably about um, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Two hours from here. You been to Flint before? No, I haven't, man. I just know they. I did some charity work and stuff there, so. Shit, I've been to Flint once, and I don't have any plans on going <laughs> back soon. Okay. At least from my memories of it. I mean, yeah. that place looked like Beirut. I hear you. And you're coming up under me, so I, I knew I couldn't stop you from coming in. So, oh uh, no, nah, just just keep going. I, I'm definitely ain't gonna, I'm definitely not gonna hit you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's one thing I saw when you was racing earlier. You was in front of that guy, and you kind of let him pass. Man, don't let that dude pass. Don't don't like block him. But that's his job to overtake you without hitting you. You won't get penalized unless you're trying to block him and zigzagging all over the road to keep him from passing. But you had a good. Uh -huh. that's, that's the thrill of the fight, man. Is somebody on your ass trying to pass? That's oh, damn it. That's the battle, bro. Like that's that's when your adrenaline get pumping. Like uh -huh. I love trailing. I love trailing behind somebody because I know they're gonna fuck up. And, and vice versa. Like I, I gotta like when somebody behind me, I gotta act like they're not behind me, man. I gotta really psych myself out. Cause if not, I start worrying more about what's behind me than what's in front of me. Right. And one of those races. While I'm still worried about the car that was in front of me, it was a car behind me, and I was driving a little bit defensive on him. Uh huh. Cause they, like they they penalize you for certain things. You can't zigzag all over the road keeping somebody from passing you. It's courtesy if you know you're the slower car, and mm -hmm. and you're like eighth place, and you're trying to stop the first place car from getting by you. Like that don't make any sense. You're eighth place. Let that dude by you. But oh yeah, absolutely. If I'm number four or number five, oh shit, I forgot. I'm, I need to crank the the, the number of laps up because right now it's mm -hmm. just yeah. But man, it's just it's a lot of learning that it takes. Uh, I like this game because it brings that what do you call it to a console, and that's something we never really had before. Like online racing, like for the for the the, the, the goal and you know for everything else, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, I, I need to crank these laps up because right now I think I got it set for like two laps or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, my mind is still on um Suzuka and using that Magad that uh Magani eleven. That right. trophy eleven. Let's uh if you want we can do that one too. We can do that. No um if and I don't have a problem going back to uh crew four and going back and getting that Trophy 11. That's fine. Hey, I like the Kyoto uh, tracks too. Um, uh, Sabuka. You said Sabuka or what? What, what uh, track? Suzuka. 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 Okay. okay. Hi. That you know that track for me to use the Magani Trophy 11. That track favors me a little bit because. All I have to do to, to like use some of your philosophy, mm -hmm. all I gotta do is stay with them in the straightaways. Yeah. When we get to those winding curves, you either they're them. gonna make a mistake and go off the track, or exactly. or they're not gonna be able to hold tight lines and I can slip underneath them. Cause I did that a couple of times on, in the previous races. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yo, you, shout um, out. To... Are you familiar with? It, it... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. No, I was just shouting out everybody who's uh, who's watching. You. Yeah, big shout out. Uh, before I come on this track, have uh -huh. you heard of like some of the bigger YouTubers that's really good at this game, like uh, Z28 Gaming? Yeah, uh, I race. Eric GTR. Yeah, I raced against um, Z28. I think once or twice. We just ended up in a race together. Um, so I got I got a couple of uh, PlayStations around here, and for some reason, when GT4 uh, Sport first came out, if you didn't hit that save button, you lost everything, yeah. bro. Oh, I'm talking about everything. Uh, so I would put in like five, six hours of racing. Damn. Yeah, it, it like it was it, it was it was soul crushing, but you know, it just it takes you a lot of time to get back there, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you, if you like this, man, definitely try some some PC racing, some some different simulation uh -huh. races. Oh man, you you'll love it. Um, what was I gonna say? Because I'm looking at you know one of my um one of the people in the chat want to join us. Uh, name is uh Phaedra Socrates. Uh huh. Uh, he, he's. I think he said he's got the G, the G29 racer wheel. Okay, he will. He has G29. Um. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get in a couple more races, and if you want to have him, you can have him. Okay, let's do that. Uh. uh also, uh, you know, before we uh, run a couple of races, a couple of other um, YouTubers that I think is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, is um. Def Sun 96. Matter of fact, he won the um, he won the uh, Manufacturers Cup. Yep. In the American region. Mm-hmm. He yeah, had thanks. a video where he was going toe to toe with Eric GTR. They had an epic battle. They was on each other's asses for two laps, and it ended up being a photo finish. Yeah. Um, I saw you know, that. now that um, now that you see that race. Yeah. That was crazy. The other the other dude that I like. Is this European dude the key twenty five? Mm-hmm. I, I heard I heard him. His um not only is he this dude is is so good that like every time he qualifies for a race, he is like always in the top five. Yep. And and even if he started in fifth place, somehow the dude is able to work his way up to like second, even first place, and he doesn't necessarily do it by being the fastest dude on the track. He can you know he uh he conserves his fuel you know with the fuel mixture and shit you know yeah 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 he'll yeah. slip he'll slipstream somebody and then go to a lean mixture so he can save gas and i was like i didn't realize that you know saving gas makes all the difference when you go into the pits oh yeah 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 definitely yeah because the less gas you have to put in your car the faster you can get out of the pits well it's, it's again it's, it's trying to simulate real real life racing so um yeah you did say gt4 right yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I just tried to my Porsche on that track, and it's too long for uh for that type of car. It's too much speed. So mm -hmm. we'll have to. Okay. Um... Hello, Queen. I never really raced this STI. I'm, I'll try it. I think uh, well, this track right here, the Group Fours. I think this car is probably the best car for the track yeah it, it could be yeah I noticed the difference in acceleration between this and the G3 cars oh yeah big time Yeah, so just racing Lincoln Play. I need to. I'm, I'm gonna take a couple of laps out on this track and get familiar with it. All right. That's another thing too, man. When you get really good on the track, like for the day, like how we've been right. If we would have stuck with one track, obviously the better you get, right? Mm -hmm. you, you get to know the, the curves and stuff. But then when you switch, now I gotta try to learn. Yeah, and see that was the thing when we was at. When we was at Seaside a minute ago, I still had Suzuka stuck in my head. Yeah. You know, and uh, and the handling for this uh, Magani, I still had that stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. 
uh, the video, the racing videos that you got, do you have any, um, what's the word I'm using? The, like, the, the picture, picture where, uh, yeah. where we can see you sitting in your chair? Um, yeah, I got a couple of those up, I think. I, I need to double check, but I, I think I do. Okay. Because, so like, Z28, he do that in all his races, him and Eric GTR. Yeah, so I, I did that, right? I, I tried to set it up, and I've yet to not be able to get the feedback to, to stop. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Ooh. Ah, too aggressive. Not enough break. Yeah. Rip. Well, we only monkey around. As long as you remember, so. man, it's it's not about who's the fastest. It's about who's the most consistent. Mm -hmm. If you can yeah. get a consistent lap, man, you're gonna win every every time. Most people just focus mm -hmm. on being in first place the whole. It's not even about that. Uh, it took me a long time to learn that, man. YouTube videos, uh, rate, you know, being inside of real cars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now I did some live streams with Forza 7 <coughs> showing people different tracks and how to handle the cars and the difference between front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, mid wheel, uh, mid, mid engine, uh, front engine, rear in engine drive, you know, all kind of different stuff. Uh -huh. And I did it on Mixer. That was my first time ever using Mixer. I did maybe an hour hour and a half people came out rocked out with me and afterwards the video never lo never loaded where i could like save oh shit man i was fucking pissed because i wanted to take that video and Audio upload it to my youtube Pro today. okay i'm getting a, a hang of this track so I'm, I'm starting to go just a little bit faster. Yeah, I have some online racing. I came in like second and third place in a couple of tournaments and a couple of, you know, a couple of things. But I haven't really been on this hard and heavy for a while. But I'm a, you know, I'm gonna tell you this, man. You can say what you want. I'm glad they added microtransactions for those cars because I want to be able to just buy, like, the Lewis Hamilton Formula One car. I don't want to fucking have to spend all my money and grind for two months just to be able to buy that. Yeah. Like, right I mean, now, even on I Forza, on... I bought all the, the season pass with all the packs and the cars. Like, I, that's just something I do anyway. But I find out more people... The, the only people who complain are people don't even race anyway, or they drive like they 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 use a uh, Forza Horizon, the you know the arcade racers. Mhm. Mm uh, bu 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 bu. what's up? The thing, of, the other thing about the the microtransactions in this game. Uh huh. I mean, what's ninety nine cents? I mean. Exactly. It's, it's not trying to Where break your like, wallet, right? No, and like, well, Forza on the other hand, you know, they sell a lot of shit in packs. Yeah. Yeah, you so gotta spend that $7.99, $9.99. Yeah. If I just want that one car, right, 99 cent is mine. Now I done saved myself two weeks yeah. of, of racing to get the car. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's all optional, right? Because I can still race get up my credits and, and buy the car. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. That don't mean I favor microtransactions. I just think the microtransactions in this game are not intrusive, and I don't think they affect gameplay. Yeah. Well, and think about it. It's a year later, right? It's mm -hmm. a year later. By this time, most people for freeze mode. who haven't bought GT Sport are probably not going to buy it. People who got GT Sport, those are the day one adopters, the people who really care for racing games. So, yep. And then the other thing I've said that in one of my podcasts, yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you know because, like, I have better than 
I, I think I can drive better than the average person. Yeah. So that person, is, the casual person, that's who more than likely going to buy these microtransactions is the casual racer. Exactly. And in most cases, those people can't drive. So yep. it doesn't matter if you have the fastest car on the track, you still have to be able to drive. Exactly. So with that being said, yeah, if they want to go ahead and buy a Formula One car, let them. You know, because mm -hmm. if they can't drive, they're going to shoot right off the track anyway. I just have to make sure I'm nowhere near them when it happens. Exactly. All right. So, no, nah, I agree with you. Yes, I, I kind of got this track down a little bit. It's... Hey, God. Like, when I do my streams, that, like, that snake curve. Mm-hmm. I mean, you probably, I don't know if you was watching the streams or not, but it was a couple of people that flew right off the track, and I just drove right I past I saw them. that. I, I saw that. This this is why, like, I tell anybody, right, depending on how many laps you got in the race, just chill, sit back, and then assess the situation. Because, mm -hmm. like, most people, the first 10 people that's trying to be fast on the track, they're going to go off the track. Mm-hmm. It's the people that... And then not only that, with them battling each other like that, they're going to slow down anyway, and you're going to be able to catch them anyway. Exactly. Yeah, I always kind of take it easy until I get my groove oh, in. son of a bitch! And once I get my groove in, then that's when I'll try to pick up a little bit more speed in the different sections. You know, mm -hmm. re regulating my throttle. I'm up here driving like an amateur now, because I was too busy watching you and not the track, because you took them curves pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah you just forced me to have to step my game up. Oh, that's okay. Cause that's realistic right there. Even if I take these curves smooth, mm -hmm. man, it, it's you know, just if good. You take them clean too. Exactly. It's just good to race with somebody who got the same passion about cars and and racing as me, man. It's a lot of people that really care for it. Uh huh. But you know, like none of my friends really race like that. So a lot of times I'm racing with randoms and. Uh, You know, and I, I'm not good oh. enough. To, I, I, well, I'm not gonna say I'm not good enough. I've just never been. I don't think I've never just given a more time like Z28 and those guys. They invest a lot of time into it. Whereas me, man, I play games when I can, and most mm -hmm. of the time it's like late at night when you know my wife and kids are asleep and stuff like that. Oh, uh, okay. But, you know, I'm allowed well, to get I'm my... I live by myself, so I have the luxury of playing anytime I want. There you go, man. Um, yeah, I got F, uh, F1 2017. I got Project Cars, the set of Corsa. So, this, um, is Drive Club the only game that has um, VR multiplayer? Uh, Drive Club, yep, and, and Dirt, you know, but, you know, that's a rally. But it's multiplayer? Yeah. In, in, in VR? Yeah, I, well, at least on the PC. I haven't, I haven't tried uh, PSVR. I, I haven't, okay. but I haven't tried, like, the multiplayer portion. Again, to tell you the truth, bro, like I'm, I'm telling you, I don't have a lot of friends that, that race. And the yeah, ones that do, either. and the ones that do, they have a controller. You know, they haven't invested in a wheel. And if they're not on your level, or at least halfway competent with stuff, then it's, it's like, eh. yeah, yeah. Um, shit, I'm now just now getting it together. You got plenty of time, bro. Uh, at uh, this point, another all I'm thing too. To just keep the... Another thing too, when you racing, 
it don't matter mm -hmm. how far the person ahead, right? Because they can always make mistakes. Their tires can burn out. I, I've been that man. I've been ahead like a lap. I've been lapping the person and not paying attention, and I make the wrong move and I spin out, and th and then they'll come by and right there at the finish line and lose. And I'm just like, God damn it! Th those are the hurt. Those are the ones that hurt. But Have don't you won nobody. any of the daily races before? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think, I think on my I channel. I have not won a daily race yet. Oh, yeah? I have, uh, <clears throat> I think I have some on my channel. The closest I've come to winning a daily race, I came in, um, third place in one race. Mm -hmm. And it, and that was only, I was actually in second place. But I had a penalty. Uh -huh. And, like, right before I got to the finish line, I slowed down to serve the penalty. And the car shot right past me. <laughs> no, this is what you do, bro. I'm gonna tell you. If you're that close, go ahead and finish the game with the penalty, and they'll just deduct the time from your overall time. Right. See, but what made me because slow down to serve the penalty uh -huh. was because I was misled about the penalty system. Because I was led to believe that if you don't slow down and serve the penalty, that they'll tack more time on at the end of the race. Uh, it's it, yeah. That that is true. That is true, but you got to remember, a lot of the races is about time. It's not about coming in first or second place. Right. So my thing was because if a person okay, is in first place to... and he has a, 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 a thirty second penalty because he's been bumping everybody to get to first place, they're gonna deduct like thirty seconds to a minute off his time. And guess what? The the person is in second or third place is gonna is gonna be bumped up. Right, and so, and that's why I served the penalty. Yeah. Because I think I was serving like about a like a seven second penalty or something like that, and yeah. I was scared that if I didn't serve it and I crossed that finish line, they was gonna add like another five seconds to it. Yeah. Because either way, so right? So I slowed down still to serve come, it. Yeah. Either way, you you still didn't come in first place, and they penalized you. Mm-hmm. So I would have went ahead and took the first place and got penalized and then got moved to whatever place that they were going to give me. Then to try to slow down and he came up because they're, you know, you didn't have much. It sounded like you didn't have much road to go on the track anyway. No. I'll tell you this, bro. If you can race Nurburgring, and and do well on that track just even just lap lap just doing like solo laps bro you can handle any mm -hmm. track because that will wear your ass out Whew. nah shit i took never i took never green like a dream in vr yeah in that formula one car yeah well you you know why it's because in vr you can feel the depth. You know how much room you have left on the road. You know, you, you can see all that shit. It's, yeah, that's why I was, I was saying that in my that. stream. You can judge the corners better. Yeah, yeah. You can li literally look out your window and, and see where the road is. Man, it, it would be cool if, if they even let us do one-on-one -on -one in the VR. I know, bro. I know. I, that, that's, like, my biggest wish. I just want to be able to race with somebody in VR. Yeah, exactly. Now, Drive Club is cool, but unfortunately, um, it makes me a little bit nauseous at times. Yeah, it's, it's an arcade racer, it, man. It's, it's not a... Right. Yeah. And it's, you know... The physics is not as realistic in that game as it is in GT Sport. Exactly. Yeah, I'm with you there, like, with the headache stuff, because you got to think about it. That's like a first-generation game for VR. And, yeah. that, and that mode came out, the VR stuff came out after the company pretty much had already closed down. Man, I was yeah, really, yeah. I was really hoping they could take the team from Drive Club, right? Like the artists, put them inside of, uh, give them to Digital Polyphony. Let uh -huh. them got, let those guys work on the graphics, and then let Digital Polyphony work on the uh, the physics and, and stuff like that. 
Yeah, that would that would be excellent. Have you noticed yet about the about after you get a lap or two under you, the tires are more sticky and you can take the corners at faster speeds. And you got more grip. Yeah. See, look, me me talking. Especially in races right. where um, especially where races where tire wear and fuel consumption come into play. Yeah. Yeah, but you race totally different when those things are on than when they're off. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. What's up? This, this just cannot be right. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. <laughs> now nah, I'm just, I'm just fooling around. But that's another thing, man. I, like when I do my videos on my channel, talking and racing, man, it's I'm the worst, don't bro. You, I, I, can't, don't mix. I can't. Yeah, I, I can't, I'm not good for shit. I'm running all off the track. I'm. But if if I'm quiet and I'm focusing, looking ahead at the apexes, taking my corners and stuff like that, I'm okay. You know. Have you raced against a uh, sick human now? And Carlos and those uh, guys. I raced against him on um GT me on um Drive Club VR. Oh, okay. I raced some... against him in uncompetitive. Uh Damn it, I just did it again. I was too busy trying to turn in that lap. What's the fastest lap time you got? Uh, hold on, I'll tell you here in a second. It's still calculating. I think it's two something, 208, 206, two something. What's your fastest lap time? Uh, I'll tell you after I get through this snake curve. Okay. This okay, my fastest lap time was, uh, like 212 something uh -huh. but the thing about it was like i was still pleasantly shocked because um my fastest lap time today was like 15.4 mm -hmm. you know when i qualified and that yeah. was my fastest lap time and i just shattered it by three seconds that's what's up and and i thought i was doing terrible because he was so far ahead of me yeah nah that's what's up bro now nah, don't don't yeah don't worry about don't worry about what I'm doing, cause I mean, you mm -hmm. get you focus on those on your own personal lap times, and just get consistent with them, man. You gonna you gonna be killing anybody who's who's under that. Like you have to mm -hmm. worry about like you can't worry about like the guys like Z28 and those guys. Those guys they're gonna that damn that damn sure gonna win. Like they're gonna be in the first first second and third place. You just try to worry on getting fourth and fifth place, and that's competitive to be at that level. And then little by little like try to learn the techniques and stuff from them mm -hmm. and that was always the plan mm -hmm. the plan was to try to like as far as qualifying goes my plan was always to try to get into the top 10 and then when the actual race starts try to finish in the top five yeah and that's what i was gunning for today was to try to finish in the top five and i got as high as fourth place one of those races i made a mistake but um uh, but for the most part most of the times dudes was coming in hot and was bumping me out of the way Oh shit! Hey, look, go and change your tires to uh, slicks. Right now, your tires are hard. Mm. I'm just noticing that shit. So go to options. Yeah, click the options button on on, on your wheel. Go to uh, options and go down to. Oh, uh, you gotta you gotta back out. You gotta go to exit. Hold on. I'll exit. Just go back to like that main screen. Oops. Council council entry. And go to driving options. That's why you change your tires to super sport. Super soft? Yeah, super soft, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
change them to super okay. soft. That's going to give you that added grip. Oh. But keep in well, mind, you know, they, um, they, they in the do races, they set on hard. They set on hard. And, um, yeah, they and do that on purpose. It. Yeah, yeah, they do that on purpose. So try this and watch. You're going to see it's going to be a night and day difference. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Yo ass gonna be killing him, watch. Oh, oh my. Yeah, told you. Feel how sticky they are? Mm-hmm. But you, you gotta be careful because when they do heat up, uh, they, they wear out quicker. Okay. Get back on there. That keep playing with the edge of the track. Yeah. Trying to squeeze them extra tenth of a second out. Yeah. And I see you behind me right there. You seen I was playing with the edge of the track. Yeah. <laughs> follow, follow, I'll take, fo follow the uh, tire marks in the road. And that's where everybody tends to go. Okay. Where those dark spots, follow those, and I mean that's that's just just like uh, that's what I use for my what can I say uh, as far as like kind of like my guide. Mm-hmm. Again, shout out to everybody who's watching. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, no question. By the way, I sub to your channel and all that, so I'm gonna definitely be uh, watching your stuff, and you know, we'll, we'll definitely collab on some stuff. Oh, no doubt. Damn it. Didn't hit the brakes. I thought I could coast through there. That's another thing that'll kill me, too, is that um, sometimes I don't... Sometimes I try to late brake. Yep. Or sometimes those curves is really deceiving. Some of those wide curves. Mm -hmm. You think you can just coast through there without hitting the brakes. Nah. It's not... It's not it depends, right? If you racing, like a, a real race, it's not worth that risk. Because it's, it's a gamble. Yeah. And that's why, like, I'll take those chances during, like, uh, during qualifying or during practice. Yeah. I'll go ahead and be aggressive and so I can find out, okay, how much break do I need to apply coming into this corner? Exactly. Yep, that's, that's exactly what the practice for. And I try to tell people in my streams how important qualifying is because I feel like you need to get as close to the front of the pack as possible because right. you're already at a disadvantage with this uh with this staggered start. Yep, you're right. Because if you start with 15, you know, you're already at a disadvantage. You're already about five seconds behind the leader. Exactly. And then, you know, um, the further you are towards the back of the pack, especially the level that I drive at, 
the more likely you're going to run into somebody who's dive bombing or don't know how to drive. Yep. I agree with you there, bro. I mean, like, people like the key, uh, Super GT, those dudes, yeah. the level that they race at, even the dudes that's in 15th place is still better than, than way better than a lot of people. And they yep. still practice racing etiquette. Yep. So, like, to watch their streams where 15 cars can go through a, a sharp curve and, and a nobody single touch. file line and nobody yeah, nobody trying anything crazy because they know they can't they can't make a move there. Yeah. That's because even if you make a move, you still got freaking 15 laps to go. It's not it's not worth it. You don't risk you don't take big risks until you're on the last lap and you lose it. That's the only time mm -hmm. I would make big risks. If I'm losing the first two three laps or whatever, I'd be like, okay, well, you know, I'll get myself together. It's okay. You don't have to start off being number one. Right. Giving me a head start? No, I just, I, I just want to follow behind you. Okay. I just, just want to observe. to catch up but... Damn it, took my eyes off the track and paid for it big time. Falling right behind you, I did the same. See, I, I was fixated on your car and not the road. Because mm -hmm. that's, when, when you was talking earlier how 15 cars can go can go through the track, uh, a hard turn or whatever, and it looks like a single file mm -hmm. line, that's because mm -hmm. they're all fixated on that, on that one car, whoever's in front. Because if he mess up, then everybody gonna mess up. Yeah. And then once again, I took my eyes off the track for a split, split second to check out a woo Man, that car shot right past me. Yeah, it was definitely killing them in the, in the corner. Mm-hmm. He shot past me on that straightaway. I was trying to follow too close to your bumper. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, how was he doing? I, I was literally, like, on your bumper. I, I was, like, trying to trying to follow right on your bumper. And I followed a little bit too close. I messed up. Um, I wasn't watching through those curves, but I figured you was going to be on my ass, so I couldn't... I couldn't take my eyes off the track to try to see where you was at. Yeah. Now that's why I got that's why I got uh right behind you just to see what's your how do you pick your driving lanes, uh where you turn, where you brake and stuff like that, just to kinda get a feel of how you drive. Mm -hmm. Well one of those snake one of those curves in the snake curves is sharper than it looks. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If you got too much speed going in there, man, you can forget it. Yeah.
Uh, in some of these corners, there's a secondary turn too. Like you're going around the corner, yeah. it'll get sharper. And I found that out the hard way too, because like through a winding stick curve, you think all of them, you know, got the same, you know, curvatures, and then you find out when you get to that third one, it's it a little bit sharper. Too late, right? Yeah. That hey. can't be right. No what? way. You didn't I just something. turned in 207. That's what's up, bro. That cannot be right. I'm going to attempt to come up. I'm probably about, shit, 10 seconds behind you, but... See if I can do it. That's the fastest lap I have ever turned in on this track. That's what's up. Now and you based know you're... on the competition that I've been racing against, if I can turn those kind of lap times in consistently, I can win one of these races. There you go. It's all about consistency. There's that one corner. I hate it because it's it's really sharp. Mm-hmm. I'm at that corner. I was telling you it's a double. It's like a double corner. Yeah. Hopefully you shave off at least another second or two off of that. Shit, I still turned in 208 that lap. So that was a good lap too. At least you know what range you should be or you think you could be with that specific car. If you try another car, who knows, you're gonna get less or you're gonna get more. Right. I gotta stop being so aggressive because I'm every time I'm a little bit too aggressive, I, I, I mess up trying to come back towards you. And it's generally at the same point. Mm-hmm. So by the time I'm done with this, we done with this here race, I wouldn't know the track enough to be able to correct that. Which car are you driving? I am in the Subaru WRX. Okay. Oh shit, I see you closing in on me. I'm, I'm at that point. I was telling you that I, I hate it. See, I went off the road. Now, I, that particular corner, I, I hate that corner. It's too sharp for this particular car. Mm hmm. But it's okay. Well, I still I think I got two laps to catch up to. One or two, if I can. How you like those tires? Oh, man. <laughs> it's better than the. Uh, them you higher ones have me sliding all over the place. Exactly. Exactly. That's the first thing you do for every race, man. Check your tires and see if it's possible to select a stickier. By the way, guys, I just showed you the um, the outside of my car so I can show you. Oh, how shit! Oh, shit! You knock down another second, two? Yep, 206 and change. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up.
possible. Remember what I was telling you about those sticky tires? Mm-hmm. After they, they, they wear out a little bit too fast, depending on how many laps you have. So some, right. pe some people go with a soft tire, some people go with super soft, and, and the other ones will go with a hard. Hard, man, you can do damn near 100 laps without pitting. Impatient fire, thank you so much. He says he can see me literally getting better and better. Yep. Now you got the car combination and you have the track. Just make these, make them yours. Be like, when you race, hey, let's race on this track. I'm going to race on this. Because you know you can at least pull a, a 206, 207, right? Yep. I think my fastest is a 207, and that's with me like running off the road. That was my, my third lap. Three, four, five. Damn it! I was trying for 205. I got 207 out of that last lap. That's good. So you tied me for the lap time, for the best lap time on this track. That, is that is that your Damn. lowest? Is that your lowest time? That 206? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my best lap ever on this track in any form. Ah, uh, that's what's up. Whether that's... it was whether it was the uh, you know practice time trial, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Man, those that's tires made all the difference in the world. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I could have turned in that kind of time with hard tires. Yeah, you couldn't. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. All right. So now so we're gonna. Think... Now we're gonna. Now that you are on the same tires, you got the right car combination, and everything. Now we're gonna like start a race. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, let me see here. Because wh while you're okay. at it, you know you know the track. You're hyped up. You know what lap times you you pushing. Now. Let's try to push it further. Let's see if we can All get right. you at 205. That that's the key. 205. All right. If uh, put it like this, if you hit 205, I'll give you a GT uh, 300 RS. A T uh, yeah. T T 300 RS racing wheel. Uh, a what? The Thrustmaster T 300 RS. You oh got, shit! Yeah, you got the 150, so uh, I'll, I'll give you the cream of the crop on that one. I'll send. I'll, oh, I'll send it to you. Didn't mean to bump you. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll recover. There you go. Be, be aggressive. Come, come, come get me. Damn tires are. If you get two, remember, if you get 205, man, you get a brand new racing wheel. Oh, shit. The good one. Damn it. There it goes. That's just one oh, but lap. This is a five lap race, so I still got yeah. a chance. Yeah. You racing for well, time. It's, it's over on this. It ain't gonna happen on this track, on this race though. Yeah, it don't have to. Yeah. The way I'm driving now, this first lap is over, so I have to shoot for it on the second lap. And yeah. I gotta make it happen on the second lap if you got um, tire wear in play. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, but they still, it, it still, it still plays a factor. Okay. Your muscle memory will uh, tell you Especially with the vibration of your wheel, it'll tell you when you're at the limit. So All I'm gonna right. tr try to hit 205 too. I don't oh, think it's nothing. definitely not. I don't it's think definitely not gonna happen this lap. Yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, don't worry about that. That first lap, bro, it's almost impossible to uh, to get the time. I'm gonna tell you why. We started at a standstill. The second uh -huh. lap, you're already gonna be passing the finish line, going uh -huh. 140 yeah, miles an hour. Yeah, you're carrying speed in there. Yeah. Okay, I just did 205. Damn, I just hit it, my first lap. So that means I'm gonna try to push for 202. I still hit 210, we're going off the road twice. Yeah. I just gotta remain consistent. And that's why I like using manual shifters for my mm -hmm. shift points. I barely made it. That was my Damn best. Damn it, you lost it right there. That was my best corner there. And I, and I fucked up. I think this lap here is going to be a 206, 207. You know uh, anybody else that race on GG Sport? Nah, not really. I, I tr man, I try not to race with randoms because they always say they're good or, or they're competitive. Bro, they they mm -hmm. ass race like they racing in Forza and shit. You got that right. But I kind of don't have any choice because. I know it's hard to find somebody with a similar skill set, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm getting a penalty for that. Damn. I hit a, yeah, I hit a 206, so I, I did better than I thought I was going to. I went off the track a couple of times. I, I, I barely skimped going off the track. I went into the, uh, the dirt just barely, mm -hmm. but I, I recovered. I was able to keep some speed. Don't forget to hit your apexes in those corners. Yeah. Your tire, those tires should hit those, hit the candy cane, but not too much. my best corner. I'm being too conservative in that corner. It's, that's that corner I always mess up at. Mm -hmm. How you looking so far? Uh, I don't know. I guess okay. I'm trying not to worry about it. And just keep the car on the track. Yeah, as long as you get those purple things that they, that oh, they yeah, show. Oh yeah, your checkpoints. Yeah, as long as you I get did. those, you're good. The last couple of them I did, you know, turn into minus. Uh huh. Five six. Damn, I hit two oh six. Okay. So I hit two oh five. I'm trying to go to two oh four. Three, four. Damn. Two oh six point two. Oh, that was close, bro. There's some place you're going too slow or you're messing up at. If you correct that, you'll do it. Yeah. Don't be too aggressive now. 
because you don't want to really, we don't have many laps to go for you to get it. My goal is to get 204. Well, I got a high 20. I got a high 205. I got 205.6. So I think the best I'll probably be able to get is like a 204.9. those points you see you could have shaved off a fraction of a second but you was too cautious so yeah coming up on a couple of crucial corners shit I might have this right here this is crucial come on mother Got it! 204, mother! Got it! Got it! I got 204, 204, 6. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I got one more lap. I got one more lap. Turn that two points. No, what it was is on the final curve, I went off the track a little bit. Because I was trying to get good exit speed coming out the corner. Uh, uh, that's it, it's over. I ran off the track. I was definitely over. I went into the grass. Well, I got the time I wanted to get, so. 204. Damn, I went kind of deep into it, too. 2046. Ah! It's over. It's over. I just spun completely out. Well, I shaved off two seconds. On my best time at this track. Oh, track. I see that. Two, two, two oh four point six. Yeah. Damn, hell of a lap. Yeah. Now I'm doing donuts. Man, I calculated that shit. Ah, that's it. Couldn't have got the 205 anyway, bud. What's your lowest time? How, how deep into the fives? The, the, the track times, as far as this track right here? Yeah. These lap times that you see right here are my fastest. Oh, okay. Okay. So that 206.2 is probably my fastest lap ever. Ever. Yeah. Well, that's what's up, bro. Oh, Lord have mercy. That last lap, that 225, man, I went off the track about three times. Damn. Yeah, the first curve was already bad news because it was one of those curves where you don't have to like pump the brakes real hard. You can still carry some speed into it. Yeah. And then try to square up to go across the tip of the apex. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! But race, race results. Um... And patient fire said, "My last lap is when I usually mess up when I'm under pressure." Yeah. And I these I, races in patient fire, it's like it's like the first couple of laps where I screw up, 
and then I buckle down and get my shit together, and then I usually have a couple of good, you know, finishing laps, and then it makes me go back and say that, hey, if I would have done this the first couple laps, you know. Yeah. So overall, I was 20 seconds uh, faster than you. Well, yeah, 20 seconds faster. Oh, but you can, man, man. You, you can squeeze that down to 15 and then 10 and then like five second increments. Once you squeeze that shit down, then your ass be smoking the shit out of me. Oh, man. Man, that was dope. But with those lap times I turned in today, I know, but, you know, going back to the hard tires, I know I'm not going to be able to turn in those kind of times. But now I, now I understand that if yeah. I... Just so like, just we, stay with your nice tight based on lines. your tires, right? You got we we were racing with super sports or super slicks. Uh, I don't know why mm-hmm. they don't you just call them racing slicks. Um, you know what your benchmark is, and then you go with soft tires, and then you go with hard tires, and you should be two seconds. Uh, they should take two seconds of, uh, away from you. So if your best so... time is two oh six, you know if you go to to to. to uh, just soft tires you're going to do 208 and then if you go to hard tires you're going to be looking at 209 210 error so that's what you was probably that's what you was hitting when you was on hard tires around 210 211 time probably time frame uh actually with the hard tires uh-huh. uh my best lap was um i f- i think was 214 something okay so that's an extra three yeah so i mean Giving and take. Because I was that averaging you may... around, I was averaging around two fifteen and change. Uh huh. You know, but I had a good lap where I was able to get under two fifteen. Damn. So that was like a nine second difference with the sport tires. All right. Let's. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the Nurburgring, and All right. we'll go around that track. And let's just see what kind of time. Our target time is eight minutes around that around that track. Okay, uh, what car we what uh, car we gonna use? Any, any any car you want. You want GT3? You want regular? Um, so one thing about the regular cars, I like them, but man, they're they're so heavy in the handling on them. Like I like them, but trying to control those around the Nurburgring. Like, if you don't know that track, it's, it's going to be difficult. You're going to be all off the road and everything. Like, when I tried that Formula One car in VR, there was mm-hmm. actually only one curve that I kept missing because the way you can't see it until the last second because when you hit this sharp right curve, you're uh-huh. coming up a hill on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. But fortunately, even if you, like, uh, miss that curve, mm-hmm. there's still, like, some hard ground next to the curve. Yeah. So it's almost like if you miss the corner, you still somewhat cutting across that corner on some hard surface. Mm-hmm. It's just at that point, it's just a matter of whether the game gives you a penalty or not for cutting across it. So I'm trying to debate since we can use any car we want. I'm trying to say so I'm not going to use the, um, the SRT Tomahawk because that's just... That car yeah, is just too nah, crazy for all yeah, those curves. Yeah, we um, need like a, a, a real car. Like, let's, let's, I'm thinking of uh, using my Group Two Acura. Okay. That's that Ray Brick NSX. Oh, you got that? Damn. Yeah, you got a. I bought that. You got I a bought it. GT. Well, I didn't. I didn't buy it as a microtransaction. I bought it with in-game credits. The okay. car was only like I think like seven hundred thousand. I don't know. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. Got that shit. I just want it for the handling. Yeah. No, nah, no doubt. But those cars are light. They're, they're made for the handling. Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to find something I have that's comparable or that at least can kind of be competitive. Where I won't get smoked. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a GT3 car. probably do my Viper GT3. Um, man, there's been times I've had to sell some of my cars so I can get some money to buy a new car that came out 
as DLC. And see, that's probably where you got me as an advantage because cars that that you did get awarded to you from the daily workouts, you can't sell those cars. Yeah, yeah. And the majority of my cars are are award cars. So you know, again, I got about fifty five cars, and I bought, and I only purchased three of them. And that was this Ray Brake that I'm using, yeah. that Megani Trophy I was just using, and uh, the Formula One car, which I bought through a microtransaction. Because mm -hmm. I got, like, as you can see, if anybody watching, I got 1.6 million. What's good, Kratos? And like you said, I don't want to grind to get that 2 million, buy the car, and then be broke. Yeah. So I just went ahead and spent the $3 so I could keep my in-game money and save it for some other cars. Yeah. So, let me go ahead and enter the course. What is good, bros? Okay, so you got that. I'll just I'll just use uh the R8 place? Le Mans. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I, I hold on, hold on. Let me go back and set the tires cuz I don't yeah. know if you Better set those tires. No, it won't let me. Yeah, you have to, have to exit. Yeah, it's just cancel out of it and then go back. Yeah, I got hard racing tires. Yeah. Did you get a new Xbox? Or did they even respond? Microsoft support is trash. No, I didn't get a, a new Xbox. They, uh, they hadn't replied to me yet. I think they got Kratos uh, Black Ball, man. My uh, my Xbox died on me, and I was posting on Twitter for help, seeing if anybody knew how to get it unlocked or keep it from freezing. And, uh, you know, no Xbox support, they hadn't. I want it, uh, what I want to do is get it um, unstuck and at least able to boot up so I can take it to GameStop and trade it in. That way I'm not mm -hmm. sitting on a dud. What, you got an X or an S one? An X. And it took a dump My on My Project you? Scorpio, yeah, it, it took a dump on me, man. It's a good thing I ain't bought my son this Project Scorpio. Cause I, I bought him the standard Xbox One X and he ain't had no problems. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was my main one too, so. Yeah, bro, this, this is literally my favorite track, man. It's because it's so hard. Yeah, that's definitely a challenge, but it's but I swear to God, it is so much easier in VR. So. Oh, it is, because you get to see the depth, you get to see all this. Hold on, somebody, uh... Yeah, man, Phil, he said, uh, I had enough uh -huh. of your shit, Kratos. <laughs> Um, were you were you able to uh, to change it? The tires? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I might go ahead and go with my Porsche, my Viper. <sighs> Man, I'm trying to find a car that can compete with that can at least. Times. I know with any of the GT3 cars, I can do six minute, seven minute, maybe. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to just do the regular GT3, uh, GT3 RS. So I'm gonna use a regular car. Is it gonna join? 
He talked about it a little on his sick cast. Said Jay is doing the Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> yeah, Six said he was gonna come. I don't, I don't know if he's uh, if he's coming right now. Uh, because of the weird hours that he worked, who knows? Yeah, yeah, he worked them crazy. Well, hours. at the end of his podcast, we had set a time, you know, to get together at six o'clock because uh, Carlos Fernandez is supposed to join us too. Okay. Because he had work right now. All right. Well, if that's the case, then uh, I'm gonna I'm go out and do all I gotta do. I'm supposed to be going to the gun range and stuff like that, and taking care of some other things. And then I'll just meet up uh, with you guys around that time. Okay, that sounds like a winner. Um. I'm trying to debate. I don't know. This game still crack cocaine to me. I'm trying to debate whether I'm gonna shut this stream down and then come back with another um, stream for the VR because uh, I have the standard uh -huh. PlayStation VR. So when I were, whenever I want to switch over to the VR, yeah, you got I have this. to unplug the H. Yeah, I have to unplug the cord that runs from the PlayStation to the TV uh -huh. and then plug it into the black box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it doesn't and the have the bypass. Why I do that is, for the HDR. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, I, yeah, you know, I have a dedicated section for that, so I don't have to disconnect it. Mine, but I can see why that can keep me in a hassle. Mm -hmm. and now, I what I'm, know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a way to stream um, my, my, my Oculus Rift. So when I'm racing like in a Seto Corsa or Project Cars or I racing or something, I can do that without using the uh, the Elgato. Are those um are those games on the PC? Yeah, those, those PC. Uh, games that you mentioned are they yeah. in VR? Or are they in multiplayer? Yeah, they're in VR, they're in multiplayer, and they're on the PC. Uh shit, that's all the more reason I'm about to buy a PC, build Bro, a PC then. Yeah, you're gonna have to once. I'm gonna tell you this, man. Once you go to PC. Racing, sim racing, is hard Kratos, to your top five games ever made. I have always wondered that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. My, my top five games ever made. Hmm. GT, one, two, three, four, and five. No, one, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and sport. Now, real talk. First, That's uh, a tough one, man, because my I, top I'm five games dude, man. Yeah, ever made. Okay, now... Because I started gaming on Atari 2600, you know, and I've had everything in between, that's going to be kind of difficult. I can tell you my more recent favorite games, believe it or uh, not, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, love that game. I, I love just everything about that game. Um, God of War. Got to put that there. God of War. Um, mm -hmm. So that's two best games ever made um shoot man man I would, nobody ever asked me that before Ooh. but I, I, put know, wild, I put wildlands up there because that's the game that i put so many so many hours into like just having okay, fun how just are you? sniping i'm a uh, 37. okay so uh, I'm I'm fifty I'm fifty one. Oh so okay okay. I've been um the first gaming console I ever had. My parents bought me one of those Telestars. I think like way back in nineteen seventy eight maybe. Mm -hmm. And um and that was the one that had the tennis and the pong and yeah. handball where you just got those white hashes that you turn up and down with the dial. Yeah 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 yeah. So now, I was so telling people that I've been gaming for over you know for over 40 years so mm -hmm. that's why it's hard was PS1 LOL, but the top five. If, you, after that. if you pick categories like what's the top five shooters what's the top five racing games and stuff like that Six it'd be four. easier for me to break it down like that but if you just ask me flat out what's the top five games i could tell you five games today and tell you something different tomorrow yeah yeah that's true it, it depends right because now i'm sitting and are there like games that are nostalgic to you that you loved and, and there was a special time in your life just because that does that make that your best game it's, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to differentiate that's a tough one because yeah. when you look at it that way 
Like, Shinbu on the Dreamcast is one of my favorite games of all time. Exactly. But is that really fair? Because you've played more games uh, a lot more than you played Shinmu. Like, I, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say what's your favorite. I can tell you Gran Turismo series is my it's favorite. It's very weird to me. God of War 2018 is my best ever. God of War. The best experience ever. Metal Gear Solid series. Uh, the Metal Gear it. series. Um, um, The Last of Us, uh, hands down. And mm -hmm. the Uncharted series. Those are the games yeah. that resonate with me. Where, if a new one's coming out, like I'm going, I'm going crazy. Like, oh shit, I got, I, I'm, I'm pre-ordering like today. I'm, I'm all hyped and ready. Think, like before GT Sport the... came out, I went and bought me a, a whole racing rig specifically for that game. So I got the Thrustmaster TGT wheel because that's specifically for that game. I got the chair specifically for that particular game. Um. So on my Formula One racing, I do it on my Red Bull Formula One chair, and I got my Fanatic Club Sport line, uh, Club Sport V2 pedals, and the uh, Club Sport. Uh, Damn! So how many wheels. how many different racing wheels you got? Wheels? I got like six different wheel setups. I got 15 different rims, so I swap my rims off depending on the car. That and I'm, I'm gonna show y'all soon in another three weeks my. I got a custom wheel coming Damn, Kratos, in. You hardcore man. It got Kratos. It got my name etched on it. But y'all haven't. It's an Aston Martin wheel. Damn. And then I got my my GT, my play seat. That's my, that's the big boy. Uh, that I have like the butt kicker, the the rumble, and all the force feedback and all that stuff on it. That's the one I have my. Oh, uh, that's drive crazy. Wheel. So the race, um, the race you was in against um, Z28, how'd you do that race? Um, I did okay. I think I came in like seventh place. But just to be mm. able to, just to be able to match up, I mean, I just looked up and his name was up there. I didn't, you know, I didn't know that I was gonna be racing or whatever. Well, I've seen his streams and I think I think he's a little bit aggressive. Um. Well, Eric, G2, Eric GTR, he is definitely aggressive. If he coming into a corner, uh -huh. if if you give him, like, if he have just a slither of room, he going to try to get in there. Yeah. Even if it means, you know, swapping paint with you a little bit, he going to try to get in there. Uh, like the Key 25, mm -hmm. he, like, he'll, he'll say it in his videos that, like, to him it's not worth it trying to make that move and risk wiping out. So yeah. he'll just stay behind the dude go to his you know his lean fuel mixture save fuel and then just stay behind the dude because yeah. if he can't overtake him then he'll just plan to get him in the pits you know conserve yep. conserve his gas and then get and then get out the pits faster than him exactly no g28 man he, he plays it very smart and one thing i like he's kind of like myself he, he likes to educate too because the more people that we know and we can get in being competitive with us like the better the, the fun it is it's, it's really no fun just racing with a bunch of randoms and because you don't know the skill set and then that's how you end up with the bumper cars right how about this mm -hmm. favorite game from each console maybe that's easier exactly. if party counts um, so right, that example but, uh, counts to 360 as far as you know people that i've uh, that i've had contact with you by far the best one that i've uh, been on the track with oh that's what's up man i mean you, you too so i mean i, I think we, we're competitive against each other we, you know we're pushing each other that's what it's about about having fun, you know. Mm hmm But I think uh, for me to get on your level, one of the things I'm going to have to do is switch over to a manual transmission. Yeah, but uh, I, I know people that run automatic, and they're, they're quick as shit. Some of them are faster than me. It's I, I've mm -hmm. learned, man, it's about hitting every corner the exact same way every single lap. And that's how you become consistent. And what you can look at a person's lap time and know if you're better than them or not, or if you, you can compete with them, just just by looking at their mm -hmm. lap time. You'll see like Z28 race, right? Every single one of his yeah. laps are within like a half a second of each other, like a fraction of a second, because he's consistent. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what I've been trying to do. Like, I, I still need to put in some more practice hours and and. Uh, another thing too, don't switch a bunch of different cars because each car handles and control different. Oh, and yeah. the time that you put in with that with that Peugeot that you had, uh, or that Citroen or whatever, that that's what you're gonna do with that car. You won't necessarily do that with a Porsche or any other car. So you find a car that you like, it handles well, and you can be aggressive mm -hmm. without going off the track and make that your car. That's your car. So you know when you're racing online or against somebody, that's the car that you, and, and you know, you tell them, hey, can we race at this track? That's the track that I'm good at or I'm competitive at and, you know, give me the best chance. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. what I do. I don't, I don't mind telling people, hey, can we, uh, you know, I'll race on any track, but I need I need a couple of warm-up races or, or laps to learn mm -hmm. it. There's some tracks in this game I hate because it's just not my cup of tea. Not that right. I'm not good at it, I just I don't like them. They're, they're, they're right, ugly, exactly. Even in like real life, they're, they just don't. They're not you know, fun to me. Mhm. Mm you know the Key 25. When I watch some of his races, uh -huh. some of those races, because he be in there with he be in there with the best of the best. Yeah. Then um, some of these dudes be breathing on his ass, and I swear to God. If it was not for his exit speed, some of those dudes might have got past him. Yep. And his exit speed was critical. And so him being able to downshift all the way down to second gear or something like that, step on the gas, and then he's not using track. Uh-huh. Ooh, I got a trophy. Yeah. To speed, and you'll see the back end of their cars come loose trying so hard to keep up with him. I mean, like his, his um, his videos you. is really good, and like that Death Sun. Uh -huh. The only time he really posts a video is whenever the shit was competitive. If somebody, you know, gave him a good fight, but if he he don't really he don't really seem to post videos of games where he blew somebody out. Nah, because. I... Okay, hold on. Hey, sh shut up, Mister Mister Pyro. Yo, okay, so check this out. So he said, how about this? Favorite game from each console. Okay. So we'll start at the, I mean, Nintendo, obviously, Tech Mobile, Super Nintendo, Mario Kart, um, Nintendo 64, Super Mario World, obviously. I mean, that's that in uh, Ors Arena Time. Those are my two favorite games probably of all time. Or Serena Time is always in my top five. Um, and we'll go with GameCube, uh, Luigi's Mansion, uh, the Wii, let's skip that crap. Wii U, let's, uh, let's skip that. The Switch, Breath of the Wild, by far. Uh, that there is definitely in my top ten game. PlayStation, um, shit, I mean, it, it, that, that one will be a, a much is harder. A masterpiece. PlayStation 1, yeah. again, there's a lot of sentimental value go there, so it's kind of hard for me to justify which is which. Uh, mm -hmm. Gran Turismo, obviously I'm a car nut, so geez, you know, Gran Turismo is going to be there. Uh, Bottom 82 best Zelda games in my opinion. Believe it or not, Battle Arena, Arena to Shinden was that game for me. I mean, that what kind of started me on, on my mm -hmm. way in the PlayStation ecosystem. PlayStation 2, San Andreas, obviously, you know what I mean? That's, uh, you know, Gran Turismo would, would, you know, I could say GT on every single console, so let's get that out the way. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 3, my favorite game for that era. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Uncharted, uh, I want to say Uncharted 2. Uh, over The Last of Us, believe it or not, The Last of Us... I really got into on, I really just dug into it and I got it on, on the PS4 when they remastered it. Uh, I bought it on the PS3, but I never really dug into it. I never really played it. I'm one of those guys, mm -hmm. once you tell me a new console is coming out, once they unveil their new console, I box up my current shit, I stick it in the closet, and I don't want to play any game until the new stuff comes out. I'm that kind of guy. I'm weird like that. Like, don't show me anything mm. better because I'm going to want that better. I'm not going to want to touch the stuff that I currently have. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, yeah. 
when I see what the new council looks like and what the game is going to look like, yeah. now the current council that I have, I kind of just stick to my favorite games to help me get through until the new council launches. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, now let me uh, break down my favorite games on the consoles that I've owned. See, that Nintendo 64 and stuff like that, I didn't have those consoles because I believe I was in my... Um, in my early 20s then, so uh, I was out the streets chasing women and shit PS3 like that, so video games wasn't Let's really on my PS3, radar so like that. Go back one day. So I didn't get back onto the video game scene until I bought a Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, like, my favorite game on the Sega Genesis, I think there was, a uh, like, a Marvel Comics uh, Wolverine game. That was one of my favorite games. Uh, I think, you know, some of the RBI games, mm -hmm. I like those. Um... And then I think my next console I owned after that was a, I think it might have been a Sega Saturn. A Saturn. Mm-hmm. And my favorite games on that, on that Sega Saturn, was a uh, Virtual Fighter. Oh, yeah. Daytona USA and, man, yeah, I got some, another one. I got some rare games. I got the, like, the... Um, Capcom versus Marvel. I got the King of Fighters. I got some rare import games. Okay, here is even a better queue. Top mm -hmm. five favorite consoles ever. Ooh, damn. Then I this think um, on the PS1, my favorite games was um, uh, Tekken, uh -huh. uh, Twisted Metal, and, and GT, uh, the original GT. I think those are uh, my favorite games. And then um, I didn't have a PS2. Okay. And then uh, the 360, my favorite games is like uh, Gears of War. I think uh, Project Gotham, this uh, golf game, Lynx, which mm -hmm. was way better than um, Tiger Woods, just to name a few. Um, I know there's a lot of games on there. And then the PS3, some of my favorite games was uh, Killzone 2, uh, Resistance 2, uh, the, the MLB, the show games. Definitely. And then uh, this current generation... You know, the Xbox One, I won't even count that because it's like by that, by the time the Xbox One had came around, I was totally disgusted with Microsoft, you know, and then the, the normal exclusives, Halo and all that shit just got, you know, just got worn out, you know, Gears of War, all that shit. So I won't even in include that. So this, this, this generation on the PS4, um, MLP The Show is without a doubt one of my favorites. Oh um, man, we definitely got to jump on that. Is another one. Xbox One is awesome. Halo Five is the best. Oh Halo. yeah, uh, I might, I might be able to give you a, I might be able to give you a better fight in a MLB the Show, because um, even though I use the Detroit Tigers and they, Just and they one of the lower Just tier kidding. teams, Just I still kidding. have excellent control with my pitches. Just kidding. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, uh, I'm uh, also play on, um, I also play oh, on Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, uh, I play with the Astros. Obviously, I'm in Houston, right? So. We the world champs, so that's me and uh, all day digital man. We be playing all the time, and all of our games come down to the last two innings. Oh man, and, and it's it's like our games are like the most epic games. Either he win or I win. Oh, a lot of the games I play, the score ends up being one zip, mm -hmm. two one shit like that. No, so our, our games end games up being are, like are really eight, close. eight eight to seven. You know, or I'll blast it out of the park or the Grand Slam at the at the end, and like we start screaming and yelling, mm -hmm. and like yeah, so we, we're definitely gonna do that. Oh, pitching is everything for me. Yeah, I, like I don't give up. I don't give up runs, but I have a hard a hard time scoring them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you and what, man. We since we're gonna jump on a little bit later with the whole crew, let me run out and take care of a few things. I got some stuff that I want to do, and then I'll see you later on this afternoon. All right, for sure. We'll chop it up some for more. Sure. All right, everybody, All right, thanks for uh, rocking out with us. It's been fun as usual here when Link and Clay and Kratos doing our GT Sport thing. For all you guys, go out and get it. Don't listen to the naysayers. We're good. Mm-hmm. Excellent game, y'all. Definitely.